In this video, we're going to share the secrets to earning the best grade possible for my course in the fastest amount of time. So I want you to use your time as efficiently as possible because I don't want to waste a single second of your valuable time. I know my students out at Fort Campbell, um, you work hard, um, you have extra duties, you have family duties oftentimes, you have work duties oftentimes. Sometimes this isn't even the only course that you're taking. Um, so I want you to earn the best grade possible for this class in the fastest time possible. Uh, so the thing that we're going to spend most of the video talking about are going to be the due dates and the work that's required for the course where you'll spend the most of your time, where you'll learn the most, but the most of your time will be spent. So we have nine total chapters in this entire course, and each of these chapters has exactly two due dates. Um, there are four chapters uh, that will have, these are chapters that are so large that we've kind of split the homework part in two. So you'll have an extra um, homework section on these that will be due on these. Um, and that's chapters two, three, eight, and nine that are so big. Now, the good news about those chapters is that we've spread them out over an entire week, so you'll get extra time to work on them. Um, so that's good. Uh, now, there, there are two due dates, as I've, as I've mentioned. The first due date is almost always the biggest. I say almost always. Chapter two is an exception to that, where chapter two, the second homework is as big and maybe even slightly larger um, than the first homework set um, because the actual Newton homework will be bigger. And um, But the, the first day always includes the first deep dive discussion, DDD, um, post. And that is going to require a good bit of time. You'll want to watch the entirety of the lecture video, and we'll talk about that in a second, before you uh, write up your first post. And so all of that will take a good bit of time. And then the chapter one homework um, in Newton, or all of the chapter homeworks in Newton, will also take a good bit of time. So most of your time is going to be spent on this first due date, um, but I do give you in remind a reminder to go ahead and get started several days early. So um, you can work as far ahead in this course as you can, and I absolutely recommend that. You're not going to spend a single second more by working ahead, and you'll probably earn better grades because I have definitely noticed students that work ahead um, tend to be the top scorers on the exams and the top grade earners in the course. So definitely recommend working ahead as much as possible if you'd like. Um, and um, I would really wholeheartedly recommend working ahead on this first biggest due date um, because those are the biggest. Now the second one is usually pretty small unless um, it is one of these big chapters where the, the homework is here too. Um, so be aware of that. You will have more time on these, though. Um, so these are spread out a week instead of just three or four days. Uh, and so you will have extra time. Uh, normally, these two due dates uh, on the five chapters that aren't spread out, uh, the second due date will be the day after the first due date. So um, you'll have two or three days to get the first due date stuff done, but you'll only have one day to get this second due date stuff done, and that's for more than half of the course. Um, for these long chapters, though, you will have um, the same amount of time on the first due date, at roughly, approximately, as you will on the second due date. Um, so three or four days for the first and three or four days for the second. Uh, so because these two, date, uh, two due dates are so important, and because especially the first of the two due dates is so important. I want to break down my recommendations to optimize your time during that first due date. Um, also, it should be noted that the first post uh, that we've been talking about that are always on that first due date, and um, it ran off the screen over here, but this is a first post due date here too. Um, so these first posts are required to pass the course, so that makes the first due date in each chapter even more important because you've got to get 
the first due date um, completed to have that first post completed that's required for the course. Now, I will say don't panic if you happen to miss um, one due date in the whole course. Um, that's not going to be a huge deal. Uh, if you do miss one uh, first post in the course, message me and we can talk about solutions. Um, so I don't want you to just panic and drop the course if you've missed one due date, but I do want you to be aware how extremely important all of these due dates are. And notice how the very first post is not for a chapter discussion, but for the first day of class. This is usually the first day of class in summer. Um, I make an exception for that, but usually the very first day of class is when introductory discussions are due, so you don't want to miss the first day of class because that's our first class meeting. And really what I'm doing is I'm treating these discussions as if there are class meetings, and for online classes, discussions are the class meeting, so definitely don't miss the class meeting because attendance is required and attendance is measured through these first posts. And so um, I promised that I was going to talk about uh, how to be the most efficient, and this is the area where I talk about how to be the most efficient. Um, so we want those deep dive discussion posts to be completed and we want them to be good. Um, and the more that you do a good job on um, the deep dive discussion first post and the homework, and this is about the homework too, um, those two things are the absolutely crucial elements to doing well in the entire course. If you do these um, to the best of your ability uh, and as honestly and sincerely as possible, you will do extremely well in the course. And so I've laid out kind of a process that's the ideal process for you getting the right answers, um, for you getting the best grade, and for you learning the most. Uh, so in D2L content, um, you can go to the course in D2L and click on content, um, and they're all organized by chapters. So on the left-hand side, you'll see all kinds of links for chapter one, chapter two, every chapter in the course basically, and you can click on them. Uh, and then the first link under them, or maybe the second, um, will be printing your lecture notes. So you can click on those and print them out. Um, and if you don't have a printer at home and you're local, you can actually come to a computer lab at Austin P and print all of your lecture notes at one time uh, and like put them in a folder and have them throughout the course. Uh, and you get so many pages that you get to print for free from Austin P. And it's certainly uh, for this course, if you print all of the lecture notes and the formula card and the tables, um, you're in the syllabus, maybe, um, you're not even scratching the surface of all the stuff that you get to print. So print all of those, um, especially for the chapter that you're working on. And then the second step is to write down all the discussion questions. Uh, you'll see in D2L content as well, um, you'll see the places to submit your DDD answers, and they will have listed out all of the questions that you need for that particular chapter and just write them down on top of your lecture notes because then you will watch the lecture videos using your lecture notes and you'll be taking notes on top of, oops, you'll be taking notes on top of your lecture notes. Uh, and so you'll watch the videos and write down everything that you see in the videos that isn't already on your lecture notes. Um, and you'll want to especially focus on the things that answer or may answer or hint to answers um, for the DDD questions. So um, maybe you'll have a special highlighter that will highlight those things that are relevant to the DDD questions. And then once you're finished watching the video or the two videos that are for the content in that chapter, you're going to type up uh, your answers in Microsoft Word. And uh, you're not going to submit that yet, though, unless it's the due date and the due time. Everything's due um, on these assignments. Everything's due uh, by 11.59 p.m. 
And so if it's getting close to that, go ahead and submit. Um, but hopefully you're working far enough ahead uh, that you can also complete all of the Newton homework. And you'll use your lecture videos and also your formula card and your calculator to complete the Newton homework and it will be much more efficient once you've watched the videos and taken notes on the videos to complete your Newton homework because you'll already have that information there and Newton is designed to give you more questions if you get questions wrong so by watching the lecture videos and taking notes on the lecture videos and having those notes while you go through the homework, you are um, optimizing the amount of time that you're spending in the homework by far. Um, so this is a real time saver here. Uh, and then after you've completed the Newton homework or as you complete the Newton homework, keep your DDD questions and answers in mind. Um, and if you, if you realize that you were wrong on something, definitely go back and fix that. So get precision and accuracy in all of your DDD answers. Um, as you complete the homework and after you complete the homework and then um, edit your document so that your answers are the best possible answers they can be and then take that document and submit the Word document to the Dropbox um, and copy and paste what's in the Word document into discussions and I do have another video that will show you how to do that if you're curious about um, exactly how to do that but uh, that is pretty much the secrets to doing well, especially hyper-focused on those first due dates for every chapter. There are two more things that I want to mention, though, to optimize your grade for the course. Um, and that is that 70% of your course grade, and so 70% of what matters, comes not from all of these due dates that we've just been talking about, but from the, the course exams. There are two exams for the course. Um, and uh, But don't think that all of that hard work that you've just done on all of the homework and the deep dive discussions are wasted because they are absolutely not because the best way to prepare for these exams is by doing well on the deep dive discussions and the Newton homework and quizzes. So when you've done all those things you have absolutely done the very best thing that you could possibly do in preparing for exams. That said, I still recommend for the midterm exam spending about five or ten hours going through the Newton review so that you are fully um, caught up and that you are fully prepared when you go in and take that midterm exam because it's so important. I recommend spending twice that because it covers twice the material for the final exam, so 10 to 20 hours preparing for the final exam. Uh, in Newton. Also to prepare for the final exam, if your Newton preparation hasn't taken you that long, I would spend time each night looking at your lecture notes and reviewing what your lecture notes have said because there's so much good information there. So if you spend um, the week before each exam uh, just a few minutes each night looking through the relevant chapters to review those chapters and remember and recall all the good stuff that you learn in those chapters. That will be enormously beneficial. And last but not least, the largest single out-of-class assignment, um, certainly the two exams are the largest assignments, but outside of class, um, unproctored uh, assignments will be, the largest assignment will be this individual mini tab assignment and it is five percent of your course grade so i definitely recommend working ahead there and just like i mentioned that i give a little um, advanced reminder in remind for those um, important first due dates of each chapter i also give you notifications in remind for when to work ahead on this individual mini tab assignment. So I will send out, um, and I don't think they say recommended, they sound like they're required, um, but all but the due date, the final due date for individual mini tab assignment. Um, they're really just recommendations 
of if you're going to do well on this assignment, which is half a letter grade. So, you know, if you're borderline at all, um, the individual mini tab assignment is going to make that difference. Um, so I, I do send out reminders about that. And so I would just uh, follow the advice that's in those reminders to work ahead on the individual mini tab assignment. And if you do all of these things, you will do amazingly well in this course, and I can't wait to see you earn that A. Oh, and thank you so much for working hard. I know this is a hard course, and I deeply appreciate all of the time that you spend in this course.